Hi, uh, good evening everybody. So I am Animesh and I am back after a very very long time. So I was unable to post uh, videos continuously because I was during my industrial training. And uh, yeah, some of my some of my juniors posted the video about NCHMCT exam that preparation. The reason was uh, why was I I wasn't posting since a long time. The thing was that we had a very tough time. We were the most critical batch post COVID. No hotels were hiring us. As uh, earlier in my videos, I told you that I was selected in Taj Mahal, Lucknow only. But the thing was that due to the due to enough uh, uh, inadequate funds, uh, they declined my offer, led my joining letter. So uh, we were all in a like we all were in a hustle bustle of uh, life. and then somebody of our mates they got their internship through on campus some applied for walk in interviews i was among them and yeah i said i i fortunately was selected in hyat regency lucknow it was a very golden opportunity for me to work as well with such a good brand so what i i i would like to share my experience during my internship which i had and how my internship ended on a good note how there were uh, some obstacles some challenges i faced uh, during my internship and how i overcome them and now many many of you many of the first years are into this like how our internship uh, goes how like our seniors used to uh, pin uh, like they used to tease us or they used to trouble us that once you will be in your internship you will face a lot and everything like that Uh, but post covid there are many changes in the industry there are many cost cutting everything we faced but still uh, my internship on my end it ended on a good note so talking about the brand i was in hyat regency lucknow itself i worked in all the like all the departments so one by one i'll be sharing my views like how i felt in all the departments I joined on 15th of December and on that day I was into FNB department like our HR they were very nice people every staff was supportive actually I was into FNB department and I was like gosh uh, I like uh, where I landed upon FNB like it is said that FNB and kitchen are the departments which like which are in very much like uh what should i say i have no words about fnb department that uh, like we have to work very fast and there are like no hours of like no hours we have a fixed time for reporting our roster used to change daily and we would be like leaving after 12 13 hours yeah uh, some of the hotels are which uh, like in which trainees work up to 16 hours but yet uh, we we used to get by our home after 12 to 13 hours I love FNB department, which I thought FNB is, and what FNB right now post COVID is is totally different. I love the I loved FNB, especially I loved banquet. I I love to work in banquets. I learned a lot in banquets. There are very supportive staff in banquets. I won't take their name. Actually, I want to get their name very uh, confidential. Uh, in banquets itself, I learned about everything about from the setup of hall. I Uh, mocktails i learned about different types of mocktails and everything next uh, what i rate the most like in fnb was ird that in room dining room service department there uh, we get a golden get a very good opportunity to interact with the guest now how uh, when we interact with the guest i mean to say that we learn situation handling i learned situation handling in uh, ird i learned situation handling in banquets i used to do everything every sort of thing and i was like ki uh, when i would be get free when i will get free but once you are in banquet once you are in ird like you will forget to take off i i, I myself i al- always forget to take off our uh, like team team leaders were very nice to us they will say that after completion of 11 hours we will get you free but uh, that colleagues my trainee the other interns uh, from among which i am uh, working with them i used to help them like i was like here uh, 
वंस द वर्क इज फिनिश देन आई ओनली गो नाउ द सेकेंड थिंग आई टॉक अबाउट इज द किचन द कलरी डिपार्टमेंट आई वॉज इन बैंकुट किचन and in banquet kitchen there the chefs were very good all the chefs are good uh, whether it is bakery whether it is uh, like uh, indian kitchen whether it is banquet but uh, anyways what my work was that uh, once i step into the hotel i step into banquets uh, the thing is like i was uh, i used to come at 9 am in the morning i used to prepare tea in cafeteria for cafeteria then uh, after the preparation of tea me and uh, one of my friend uh, he we used to place the tea in both the cafe both the staff cafeteria and both the uh, contractual employees cafeteria the outsourced employees actually after that uh, uh, receiving came uh, what i mean by receiving is if you don't know the first years receiving means the vegetables the uh, dairy products the cereal everything comes under receiving we used to uh, wash the vegetables and all and then we'll all uh, keep all the vegetables in walking we walk walk in that fridge that's a very big fr- big refrigerator in which we store all the vegetables and everything and uh, dairy products also but in some chronological order that i'll discuss in another video i don't want to make the video so long after that i come back uh, still the time chefs came and then they start the preparation for lunch cafeteria uh, cafeteria lunch for the cafeteria as well and if there is an event then it for that also so what my work was that i used to make raita i used to make salads and i used to cut vegetables for uh, preparation then uh, when the lunch is placed we used to uh, do the miza that miza the pre preparations of uh, every dish a day prior till the time the, there is a time for buffet to uh, the the cafeteria lunch to get out so once the clock struck 3 uh, before that we used to uh, place like we used to get all the stuffs all the food pans from the cafeteria as well as the outsourced employee cafeteria also then there is then uh, at 4 pm onwards we have to place the tea again with the snacks after that when the tea and snacks are placed we now start to warm up the food for dinner also then we at 6:30 when the clock struck 6:30 we had to place the dinner once the dinner was placed now we uh, get through the miza and all if there is no event then i was like free for uh, till 9 pm or so now next i will be talking about the uh, housekeeping department housekeeping department was something that uh, i used to matlab there you will get a associate and you will be there you will be preparing all the rooms but somehow i left housekeeping after 10 days of working because i had just some um medical issues like some medical issues with my legs and all so i get back to fnb i extended my training in fnb now the last but not the least i was into front office department in front office department actually we used to handle the luggage we used to put the luggage tag then uh, we know the we get to know the name of the guest the room number of the guest uh, and we used to deliver the luggage i used to give wifi assistance to guest i used to uh, fulfill other guest requirements if uh, guest asks for scissors if guest asks for some print out some photocopy and all i used to get that and whole solely i you I, i had an afternoon shift so at after 7 pm i was the one who used to handle the concierge desk attend calls and everything so this is how my uh, internship ended on a good note i should say and to all the first years i would say that uh, life will have many challenges if you haven't faced any challenges a single day that means you are zero what i mean if you are facing a challenge then try to overcome that challenge if there is something some sort of like uh, if it comes upon your health then please leave that right don't compromise your health over any challenge what i will i should say so thank you and hope you all are doing uh, you all be doing good in your future best of uh, luck for your future and i surely i'll try to 
अपलोड मोर एंड मोर वीडियोज़ तो थैंक यू टेक केयर आई एम साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय